and we're live hello everyone welcome to our crypto for djs live stream we do this every week we look at bitcoin altcoins what's going on with the market eth merge obviously luna classics absolutely gone viral and we'll answer any questions you have so if you have any questions about bitcoin fundamental question technical analysis i've posted on twitter there's been a few questions that come in on my twitter post we'll go through that and yeah just hang out for a, an hour and as as I always say, the goal for these live streams is to keep you guys on the right side of the market. So hopefully with my updates, I can keep you guys on the right side of the market if you've been following us. Uh, these are the updates I've been sharing. Um, this one we got wrong. Last one we got right. Last week, I didn't really post an update because I wasn't really sure what was happening. Uh, 11.09, I didn't really put an update because I wasn't sure myself where, what was happening but this week i have got an idea i think there might be a long setup coming up i've actually taken a bitcoin long so we'll go through that i'll just post in twitter facebook telegram groups and we shall get started hopefully we have few people join and have a really good live stream everyone Hi, Freddie. Yes, you are the first one. Hi, Inch. Just post in the Telegram group. Crypto Life, hello, mate. Hello, Veronica. How's it going? Axel, how's it going, mate? Bitcoin is not a bad long of this RSI divergence short. Divergence short, divergence long. It needs to hold this, guys. I mean, that's a setup that I shared. If it doesn't hold this, then uh, I'm probably wrong on this trade idea and uh, we go a lot lower. Something like this. You tr buying any coins, Veronica? Axel, Crypto Life, Aluncy. Yeah, Aluncy, I'm still bullish. Um, I mean, long term, this is such a key level. It needs to hold this level. I'm okay with one dip. So, you know, these were the buys we had. I took a loser. Uh, not much. Um, might watch a movie later on. Uh, I've got Twitter spaces for loon c so that's quite a big one um that's why doing the live stream slightly earlier we've got twitter spaces and yeah we'll maybe just watch a movie with my girlfriend later on but any coins you guys yeah so this is the uh, loon c we're gonna have a few key members from the lunar classic community that joins us so it should be a really good one you guys buying or selling any coins so yeah for Lunacy, it needs to hold this guys it, long term if it breaks this i think from a trading point of view i mean i really support the community i think um it just shows the power of people and decentralization how the team recovered this coin and it's been an amazing crazy run that's i mean that was even way before the uh, if you watch my youtube i did a post burn and pump uh, luna classic that was probably months ago i made that let me just bring this onto the screen Well, that was two months ago I posted it. I've not been making videos. This was even earlier. Um, three months ago was my first post of the burn proposal. And it's just gone absolutely parabolic. Um, great run. Um, long term, they just need to deliver stuff. We're going to talk a lot about the fundamentals. From a chart point of view, this is quite key. So if you are bullish links, even on um, not bullish long term on the project, this is a level to buy. If we start breaking below this red zone, Oh, thanks veronica yeah we'll we'll speak to you guys later if you guys want to join and ask questions you can do that live should have few more people join in 
let me just sorry let me just post it on twitter so that, whilst we're waiting for people if you guys got any questions we should get at least 20 30 people watching i need to have a better way of managing these posts because it, it can get a bit cloggy you don't want the screen to be just um clogged up by this i'll have a plan for next live stream Maybe a spreadsheet or like a shared Google document we can all use. Something like that. I'll let you guys know what my plan is. Because the main thing for this is, again, I'm not saying you'll be a crypto millionaire and all this stuff watching these live streams. But my job is to keep you guys in the right side of the market. So when we do get those crazy bull markets, we can protect our capital. And that's when you can make life-changing money. Luncia, no, it's not a pump and dump. Luna Classic is not a pump and dump. Okay, so we'll start off with Bitcoin. Before I get started, can you guys just confirm that you can hear me well? Brian Reeves, how's it going, mate? I think we traded, I can't remember. Did we trade Root together, Brian? I think I remember you from a previous live stream. I think we traded um, Root together, if I can remember correctly. Awesome people can hear. So yeah, we'll get started. So yeah, thank you for everyone for joining. If you do enjoy this video, do hit that like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. It helps us out. And um, yeah, we'll get started. So when... Bitcoin first came into here. So this was my post on the 28th and on the 4th of September. Uh, I was pretty confident that we're going to get a bounce from sort of the 17, 18K. And uh, we had a really nice move, big move. I didn't play that. I missed out because I was on holiday when this pump happened. I was in Prague and he just moved uh, into this resistance level. So I personally couldn't. And Lunxy's awesome, Brian. Inch sold Flunxy for 4x, not bad. I'm still holding some Lunxy again. I'm supporting the community as well, so I'm holding some Lunxy. And then potentially I might do some uh, validator staking stuff. I'll, I'll let you guys know. But yeah, long term, again, it's not always good to take some profit, especially if you're up like 4 5x. So Bitcoin, that's the big move we had. Um, again, I missed that, but then I wasn't really sure what was going to happen. So last on the 11th, um, I didn't know whether to buy here, whether to sell. I did buy ETH. Uh, I lost money on that. Again, I'm always sharing with you my big winners and shouting and all this good stuff. I did buy ETH here. Uh, I thought we were going to move up. I got stopped out in this spike. I got stopped out at 1650. And if we break these levels, I'm going to look to short Ethereum, unfortunately, guys. But um, yeah, this, this move uh, was pretty crazy and then um, i did buy eth i thought eth merge is going to be successful and uh, it was going to be really bullish uh, i got in here we had a rally up i didn't sell i thought we we're going to go a lot higher up i was targeting sort of 19 point uh, 19 uh, 50 i had my stop below there oh thanks veronica uh, and um yeah it just really, really spiked me out after that i was like look i'm not really sure what's happening um so that was my trade that was the the recent trade i took i am actually took a small long on bitcoin and there's a couple of altcoins that i like i will share with you guys two altcoins that i like uh, it's theta and um pyr those are two altcoins that you can look to buy now if you're looking to trade but for me i thought bitcoin would hold here uh, and then and then push up but then with eth merge and everything it just sold off and it was quite a brutal uh sell-off so it was a bit disappointing but hey now where we are i am expecting a lower high if we don't if we can't put a lower high here i think um this goes a lot lower and um, this is 
pretty much our last chance and you guys probably remember this 19.8k i've talked about it loads of times and we've built like a strategy around it 19.8k uh, is a previous all-time high back in 20 um 2017 this was a breakout level for the last bull market run and this is an amazing amazing level and um, i've you i've taken three trades and all of them have worked so i'm trying again i, I will be wrong once it will just dump and we'll lose money uh, for me i think I, i've made th th three trades i've made money on again on on these live streams as well and then one i lost money so the trades were just buying here first time i blindly bought it you can see the moves here pretty aggressive move 13 percent, 30 percent, and even this one 15 percent. hi alan how's it going mate Are you, is there any coins you want to trade? Are you looking to buy Allen? Let us know. So yeah, so I'm expecting this to be a low. Um, so you could look to buy some with stop here. Uh, this is like a weekly, daily time frame because this level has has worked out quite well. So that is sort of an idea. If we start breaking below these levels and just just start dumping, I think I'll probably attempt. 17k again once more but it's gonna go lower so this is quite a big level uh, if we let's say on the four hour time frame we break below here we give a pullback setup the pullback setups i teach uh, then i'd look to short this so it's pretty much do or die level so people that are bullish bitcoin want bitcoin to work this is the level you want to buy uh, what's the thoughts in the room uh, people that are watching are you guys bullish or bearish let me just do a quick poll you guys bullish or bearish bitcoin so i said bullish targets i'd put 30k let's say bearish targets i'll put 20k and then i'll, I'll add another option for more consolidation around here that is another big option we just chop around here got about 25 people watching so do hit that like button let's see if we can get to 30 likes by the end of the video uh, more consolidation let me just ask you that now you bought casper Oh, thanks, Alan. Well, crypto-wise, I took a big loss. Um, I did take a big loss on ETH. Um, yeah, it was uh, it was a, quite a big loss for me because I did go in with size, and you can see why. I mean, on a high time frame, you can see my trade idea. We broke out. ETH merge is successful. The biggest bullish event we've seen in crypto. I thought we we're gonna go up. So I'm having a good time, holiday, and just like personal life. And but yeah. Trading wise, I did take a big loss here because I, I was expecting it to rally up and um, it just boom, it just stopped me out. So quite a brutal. I mean, ETH is breaking down now. So if we get a pullback, that I mean, Bitcoin is Bitcoin breaking down, it's selling off now. So if, if if this does if this doesn't hold, I think we could go a bit lower. Oh my God, it's dumping during the live stream. It's not what you want to see, do you? It, let me just check on Twitter if there's any news. Looks like most people are bearish on this live stream as well. Seepool, yeah, we'll have you look at your small cap coins actually. That I always enjoy doing that. This needs to do this. If it does this, I'll buy with more size. This pullback would be my entry. And wherever this low is, this will be my stop. This is the trade idea. So what is my prediction? So I always share with you a prediction. Again, last week I didn't, but I'm going to share with you a prediction now. So my prediction now, I, I'm expecting more chop. So I will put a date on here. So these are dated. You can go back and watch my predictions, how it worked. Before anyone follows me, you should always do that yourself. So I'm expecting a range, sort of consolidation around 
to, I'd say, 20 to 23K. Unless, and this is where the question mark's going to come. 23K, unless the stock market dumps. Then BTC breaks this 19.8k level and this is the first time in bitcoin's history it will do that if it breaks down so i don't really have a clear trade plan unfortunately but if we can't hold here oops if we can't hold here which i'm expecting bitcoin to do uh, that will be quite bad so fingers crossed people that are in crypto fingers crossed that this holds and um, we can get a push higher Uh, I'll do that. I'll end the poll near the end of the live stream. So that's my thoughts on Bitcoin. Let's look at what the dollar is doing. And again, if you are investing, dollar is the most important chart. And I've shared with you this oh, every live stream. I go through this, uh, what the dollar is doing. We made money on the bull market knowing that the dollar was weak so if you guys remember this is when we started uh, buying crypto this was the exact bull market top so if you look at when the dollar top this is the dollar index so this is weighted against the euros uh, mainly the euro and then uh, the yen pound but mainly it's the euro and this is when the dollar top 19th of march if we go look at the bitcoin chart on 19th of march back in um uh, 2020 this was literally the bitcoin bottom and then we had the mother of all bull markets so what we need is the weakness in dollar bitcoin is priced against the dollar so that is why i'm surprised to see not many people looking at what the dollar index is doing and dollar index has been in a crazy bull market we're in crazy times inflation high uh, interest rates are rising and also there's i mean all the worst things that can happen you've put it all together there's also the ukraine and uh, war happening with oil crisis especially in europe we don't we're mainly an oil importer. I think from, from what I've heard, Germany is in a, in a worse position. Uh, we might have to do like energy uh, rationing, which is crazy stuff to think that could be happening in 2020, 2022. Um, so yeah, whenever that happens, I don't know when. The dollar trend is up. One of the biggest trading lessons, if you can learn from me, is following the trend. The trend is up unless the trend changes. And if we look here, uh, it took a few months. Uh, it took or well, two months for it to top out this is going to be the same so we're probably going to see a massive spike up and then chop and then we break down once we see that that's when we can be more aggressive just buying bitcoin but for now it's chop trading session and i keep repeating myself on this uh, people that i've you know mentored and i've seen people make money Uh, I've seen the people that I've seen make money is that people make crazy money in bull markets even like traders professional traders you can't make as much money during here then during a chop um, so what I would say is protect your wealth if we start breaking below these levels protect your protect your wealth same thing you know uh, if you go back to my Bitcoin charts the things I've shared if we break below you know these levels sell there's going to be better times to buy I'm saying the same thing again so if we break below these levels it is going to be quite worrying and long term there's going to be time uh, one of my examples I use one of the big traders he stopped trading and I said it on on the live stream here he sort of stopped trading earlier this year he's like look i'm not gonna buy any stock until we see um the interest rates dropping as long as interest rates rising i'm not gonna touch anything and it was a pretty good uh prediction for him because the market is down and he's he's a way bigger trader i think he's got more money than everyone put together on this live stream and he's not trading at the moment he said look there's gonna be divs there's gonna be bounces there's gonna be like 50 70 percent bounces but those crazy bull markets, I don't think we'll see until the interest rate starts dropping. Uh, some people are predicting for near the end of the year. December is uh, usually a good time in crypto. We've seen uh, uh, rallies in, in December time. So let's see if we get that. But for now, stock market is weak. If I just quickly look at the stock market, stock market looks like it wants to head towards these levels. Bitcoin is looking weak. And, and unless the dollar starts reversing, which fingers crosses it does, uh, the market is looking weak. And 
whether you know bitcoin we could be bullish but if the stock market sells off bitcoin is likely to go down but that might be a really good opportunity i know people here just want uh, uh, this live stream is called crypto for dgens and if you've been watching it during a bull market we like live longing stuff and all this good stuff but in a uh, in a market like this that might be an amazing opportunity to buy some cheap crypto so for me these are the levels i've got next so i'm gonna probably start bidding um this is I'm, i don't think i blindly bid this i think the level that i'm targeting is like sort of 13 uh, 10 this is where i'm going to look to buy so you saw me buy 30k didn't work out worked amazing three times you've seen me buy this worked two three times i might take a loser next but if bitcoin comes into sort of 13 14k level long-term positions i'll put money in and that might be the first time like i said first time since at March 2020, I'll put new money into crypto. Since then, I've just been taking profit, trading with the money that I've made or the money that I've already had in crypto. I've been in crypto since early 2017. I'm going to put new money into crypto first time since then. So quite exciting times. Stay positive. Um, have plans to buy the dip one of the biggest mistakes i see uh, students or traders and online people do they have planned to buy let's say they'll buy 15k then bitcoin will come to 15k they'll be like no no i'll buy 14k they're like no no i'll buy 10k and then they never buy the dip and then they buy like when it's already up 100 200 percent that's a mistake that i sh don't think you should make uh, this dip was pretty much to the ti bought i bought 4200 literally the bottom here i actually didn't buy the bottom i started buying around 4000 it went 20 five percent against me and then rallied up but have plans to buy the dip there's some amazing coins you know amazing projects you can look to buy uh, atom is one that i'm really interested in that you could look it's still looking strong compared to other projects we've got in a position here there's you know theta pyr loon c there's lots of projects that you can look to buy and on the cheap if we can get in them during the bear market that's where millions will be made so that's my thoughts on bitcoin and the overall market let's start looking at ethereum and then we can start looking at all your requests have you guys got any requests by the way any questions on bitcoin before i start looking at everything else I remember the predictions. Uh, I remember the predictions. The slogans for Luna made before the crash. What is now for Luna? See, so Luna. See, we're going to talk about the fundamentals later on. Do join uh, our twitter spaces later on they're going to be a couple of developers and key community members joining by the way guys we've got about 30 people watching let's see if we can push to uh, at least 30 likes we usually target 50 likes but it's been really quiet so let's see if we can push to 30 likes do hit that like button if you're watching and enjoying um but yeah yeah you're, i don't really understand your question but from a trading point of view on loon c this is a very big level so i was talking about 19.8k if you go back and follow my twitter i was sharing all those crazy buys when we broke out here i said look keep buying is going to go up all time high breakouts there was a type in loon all-time high breakout i was posting it every time since then and it just went absolutely crazy and then i took a loser there once it broke below this is back to that level again and um if we break below i think we're going to see a bigger pullback and by a bigger pullback i mean something like this we saw a crazy rally and then we broke down we dipped about you know 50 percent if we break th that was the breakout we dipped below i think that's what we're going to get if we break down and then we'll probably likely chop around here and then we'll see if it does something like that so that will be sort of my lunacy prediction but let's hope we don't get that and we get this instead and as long as we're above this or sort of red zone i'm i'm hoping for this price Casper. Uh, if you have any coin requests, guys, do let me know. So I usually look at what is it fundamentally a big project? Have they got any news? That's one of the things. I mean, I'm, I'm a technical analysis trader, but one of the things I like to always say is uh, I'm, I'm also a like a. Um, I'm also a narrative trader, so I like to follow where the hype is, where um, there's big development. So going back to Lunacy, Burn and Pump, uh, Celsius, Shorts, because there's always like a narrative. Before that, it was like DeFi, there was NFT. There's always this hype, and that's something that I like to do. So let me know what Casper has got. If, if it hasn't got that, I'd be cautious. So the high time frame, like this is a zone that you don't want to get below. So if this is below here, then I would not like to hold this. 
and uh, it's pretty much at support so bias now would be we can look for a trade setup by that i mean uh, where is the hourly trend the hourly trend in my opinion is this so if it can get back above that level you can look for a long with stop loss below but if we start breaking below i'd be bearish so this is a key zone for me and again you can just go back and do this yourself if you look at this zone above that bullish this is something i call the floor price even from here can you see we rallied after it rallied, it came back to the support level. And then look at that, it rallied another 14, 15%. So if we break back below, I would be bearish bias and I'd be targeting low. But this is not, if you believe in this project or you think like long-term it's a good project, this is not a bad level to buy for Casper. Uh, are you still long Theta? Yeah, I'm gonna talk about a couple of my coins. So Theta is on my list. So let me have a look at Seapool and then we'll have a, Seapool looks better. What is What does this coin do, um, Brian? You've picked some good coins previously. So again, this is where I call the floor. Can you see that rally we've had? So this is important level. Um, this is another resistance. So I think I'd expect it to, if it gets there, there'd be a sell off. I do like the shorter time frame. It looks like it's trending up nicely. Can you see the daily lows? Could we get another daily low here? Potentially. I, I like this one. I like this one, mate. I don't know if I just buy here. So if you follow our trend strategy, we look to get in on pullbacks. This is our for our pullback here. So I like, so this would be like a buy level. So it comes in here, first target hit. You still hold as long as we're above there. So I like this. Ask us again next live stream, we'll talk. So Theta, the reason why I didn't do Theta first is Theta, I shared a long setup. So Theta, this is something I teach is like buy support sell resistance or above resistance you can look to buy. So these are two setups that worked. This hasn't worked yet. So I shared this setup with you guys um, last, was it last live stream? I said, look, I'm going to buy support. Actually, it was the one before. And it's still sort of chopping around. Um, I said that, you know, if, you, if you're still in this, take half off. So you, you got in here, it went up sort of 10% in your direction. It went down 4%. Now it's sort of down 2%. I'd take half off and then you don't want to have a full position when I, I like to buy when things just go in my direction quickly. This is just sort of chopping around a bit uh, for my liking. So what I would say is, um, I would say sell half. So who asked? Can't remember who asked. I would sell half and then if we have a trend change um, above sort of here, uh, you can look to buy. That would be that would be my plan. Um, and then what was the other one? Uh, so there's one coin that I like uh, is PYR. If you guys uh, remember me, this was an amazing coin. Just went absolutely crazy. Uh, I do like this. I don't like the clothes though. So it, it has given me the pullback to where? To my 50, 40% uh, pullback zone. So this could be a buy setup. If we get a green candle now, I'm happy to buy this. So if 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 this candle or the next two hourly candles so is five o'clock in UK time, if we get a, a green candle here and I'll review this. So again, I share my winners. I share my losers. I don't think many YouTubers or crypto guys shows that online. So, you know, theta, I shared that level and it didn't work. PYR, um, if we get uh, I'm going to write this here. Oops. One hour green candle above here uh, is a buy signal So that's, those are like a couple of my coins that I'm interested in. Apart from that, the way the market is, it's just really sort of choppy, not doing much. I do like Lunacy, so I, I, I took a long in Lunacy above here. I, I, again, I don't like admit to say it, but again, from trading point of view, I did take a short. I think I can show you that, the short that I took. Don't tell the lunatics. But no, I'm joking. But, you know, trading-wise, I can't remember when it was broke down somewhere around here. Uh, where is it? 
Is it here? Anyways, it's above there. I'm long now. As long as it's above this red zone, I'm long, Lunacy. I like the community. I like the project. Uh, with burn implementation happening, is it four days? I think in four days there's going to be burn implementation. Join that, that. You can ask the developers and community members. Uh, the burn implementation going in, going ahead in four days. They've also got the IVC uh, happening as well. I, I don't know the dates for it. And there's potential talks, and I'm not sharing crazy rumors, even from the community. That's the question I'm going to ask is about the USTC repeg. That could be quite big. So if you have any other altcoin requests, let me know. Matic, pull back here, sold off. Something you don't like to see. Yeah, altcoins are just really weak. Um, Ape, yeah, I'll have a look. You asked me on the Twitter as well, didn't you? I think someone asked me about Ape on Twitter. So I'm, lo I'm looking to buy this again. So bullish above was here. Uh, I'm going to look to buy Atom above there again. It's one of the coins that I really want to accumulate more. They've got some amazing projects. I mean, even Luna is based on the Cosmos uh, ecosystem. Same with a couple of other coins that I like, Juno, uh, Kuji. Uh, GMX is not, but GMX is another small cap play. So if people are interested, uh, go follow GMX. It's a project that I like. You get some nice rewards and um, I'd love a big breakout above here. That will be amazing if we do get that. But GMX is one of my longer term plays. I have got my money locked in both. Uh, I've got 75% of it in Ethereum, Arbitrum and some in AVAX as well. So that, those are some small plays. I'm not shilling my bags, but I do have some money in it. Now, all these coins are just breaking down, guys. SNX was an amazing show. SNX is just breaking down. I mean, a pullback in SNX would be a short targeting these levels. And um, the market is looking weak, unfortunately. Sorry, I've, I've missed Ape, haven't I? So Ape, Ape worked out. I can't even remember this Ape trade. Do you guys remember this Ape trade I shared? 50% 618 buy first target. Boom. Same plan I shared. I mean, this is why you shouldn't trade in motion. Don't even listen to me. Listen to my strategy. So... You know, PYR, I just said, look, it's coming back into the support. This is a buy level. Same plan I shared. So if we get a green candle, uh, it's a buy. Same plan that I shared. Um, Ape it gave that on our live stream. And I shared that buy setup. Boom, nice hit target. It is a night. Why did you buy it yesterday? Crypto Life? Why did you buy it? Yeah, let me know why you bought it. I mean, that this could be a nice setup. Um, this is a big level. Can you see these levels that I share with you? That time I used that level to buy again. We can use that level to buy again. This is a huge level, this um, sort of $5 level. Again, I, I like to buy the first breakout, so I bought that. This one, I'm not as big a fan. But if it comes into here, you can look for a trade. Something like this, look for a trade. I'll be happy to take that. So there are a few coins on Twitter where I asked. Uh, let me just answer the questions on the... ANC, I don't think ANC is doing much, is it? Yeah, I've not really followed the project. Um, from a trading point of view, this is big support. People on the live stream, if you have questions, let me know. If not, I'm just going to go through some Twitter questions and then we'll start rounding up.
Yeah, so that's that's sort of what I can say really. As long as this red zone holds, I like it. If not, um, potentially going lower. Hi, SM. How's it going, mate? Yeah, I don't really have a plan on this. If it breaks this low, don't hold. Same as that. Can you see that? Once we break that, you don't want to hold. I know this was news related with Luna DPEG. Have you got, are you looking at any coins, SM? Let us know. I'm happy to have a look. So let me go back to Twitter. When does Binance maintain its wallet? I don't know what that means. Axel, are you, oh, Axel's here. Um, tips for day trading. So have a plan and stick to it. So a simple tip I'll give you is buy support, sell resistance. So high time frame, get a clean chart. This is an exercise you can do. And it's one of the first ex exercises uh, my students do as well. So on a high time frame, any chart, just pick any. I don't know. Pick something that I've not looked at in a while. And um, you buy support, you sell resistance. Um, let's just do it on, on Bitcoin, shall we? On a clean Bitcoin chart. I think this one should be a clean Bitcoin chart. I need to clear up my charts. So um, get a chart on the start on the daily time frame and draw support and resistance. And you could draw with daily closes. You could draw with um, the highs, and you'll always see that they they work really well. Um, and then just see what works better for you. Some people that I teach enjoys buying closes. Some people prefers that. And then this is just two simple ones that I'm drawing right. And then what you do is uh, you start going onto the hourly time frame. And this is on hindsight, so it's a lot easier. So let's say this one, right? This is come back to big support. What do you do when it's at support? You look for buys. So whether your couple of entry signals that I can share with you, one is like RSI divergence. So something like this, RSI divergence at support, that's a buy level. And uh, we can look for a rally. The other sort of setup we, can, we teach is that pullback setup on breakout so this is a breakout we look to buy pullbacks this is pulled back here this is a buy level nice little rally below resistance we look for sell broke back above and even here like i'm pretty sure there will be a bounce here can you see that from this support level we had a five percent bounce sell off at resistance and you could buy here so again this is i'm showing winners but this is you buy that because it broke out you buy it here it rallied three percent and then you get stopped out so this is a trade that would not have worked so now we're coming back into support this is where you'd look for at least a bounce so axel i don't know if you're still here that's my tip apecoin i think i've already looked at apecoin hex i don't know where that is cloud tx i'm gonna have a quick talk about i need to catch up with some um sell short squeeze guys i've not followed what's been happening with that so what was the other coin that he said i needed to have a look at hex <laughs> so hex i mean i did share a buy in hex a while back so hex is still sort of going or not doing much anyway so hex i think i shared my first buy setup in hex where is that chart i remember sharing with you what's a uniswap there we go so i shared my first hex buy here and go on twitter it was all posted documented and all that good stuff um since then we dipped and um i didn't really like that that dip it, it hit first target and then if it is bullish it should not really come back it should just rally up. So this was the bike came into this first target. I said stop below. And then now it's just sort of chopping. So if we start getting daily closes below here, I would not want to hold. That is something you don't want to see. Axel, yeah, practice that, mate. Uh, message me on Twitter. Uh, and then, yeah, I'm happy to help that help you. I hope, hope that tip helps you. And that's one of the first lessons that I teach. Um, buy support sell resistance and write it on your computer screen. Write it on whatever you use. Uh, that will save you a lot of money that will help you with like FOMOing in like breaking resistance oh, I want to buy set resistance uh, that's one of the best tips hex and then what was the other coin a cell i think that was the last question wasn't it on there cool so let's talk about celsius then now 
Which exchanges do you mean? Do you mean the Celsius went to around three dollars on FTX and then it went to like on Hubi it went to six dollars or something? Is that what you mean, mate? So Celsius again, that was some crazy rallies. That was beautiful, guys. Whoa. I mean, making money on that. I mean, I was I was on another holiday. I was in um, Belfast in Northern Ireland, and it just kept breaking out, kept breaking out. So it's to do with liquidity and with Celsius. There's lots of like big whales, and there's like manipulations and all this crazy stuffs going on uh, with with Celsius. You've got to be a bit more careful. Um, and what happens is like, let's say this, this FTX is more liquidity from what I can remember. Did you trade that? I don't know how to say your name. Say 72. Did you trade that Celsius breakout? It was, it was beautiful, wasn't it? We really enjoyed that. Hopefully you guys took some profits as well. Shows you the importance of taking profit. But yeah, so there's low liquidity. People keep FOMOing in and then um, one exchange, maybe on Hubi there was less supply, less people selling, and there was um, people with a lot more money trying to buy it. They were FOMOing in. They thought it was going to go a lot higher. And it was it would be a very like high volume, low liquidity spike. So let's go on Hubi then, if, uh, Celsius. You're holding long term. Fair enough. If you're holding long term, uh, I'm sharing with you um, sort of trading analysis. Where did I took most of my profits? I took a loser on this, by the way. Uh, this one I made money. This one it didn't work. I got stopped out in this spike. I bought here. I got stopped out in this spike, and then this one was like no looking back. What a move! And then yeah, I did take some profit uh, around here. Uh, four dollar was just absolutely crazy but then once we started breaking below uh, i've not really played any i did buy um two dollars i believe it didn't work out i bought one dollar that had a nice rally and then i didn't play this move i've just been quite busy with lunacy um i've not had a chance to play this move lunacy or i don't know yeah lunacy -ish, not lunacy that's a cool name isn't it lunacy so yeah let me have a look at celsius on hubi Is Hubi should be on here? Is Hubi not, Hubi not on here? So it went to the OKX six dollars in OKX. This is what you meant, didn't you? But you, I mean, there'd be no sellers. I mean, any big size, you couldn't sell it there. If you had like even maybe a five figure, definitely not a six figure, you wouldn't be able to sell it there. And this is, uh, I call it, um, climactic sell, um, selling climax. And this is a very uh, predictable pattern that happens a lot. Um, I mean, this is on the five minute time frame. If you go on to Bitcoin and go on the daily time frame, we saw a same exact pattern uh, back in 20... Is it 2020? I think we saw that pattern, and I just tweeted the climactic sell-off. Can you see that sell-off? That was the top, and then we came back to 4,000. And this is on the opposite side. And people were asking about trading tips. Uh, look for these on the shorter time frame. I mean, Luna C did something very similar today. I didn't sell in that. I wasn't at my desk. Um, so this one on the short time frame, this spike, this showed me that it, it could potentially be a short term top. And then unfortunately we've been dipping. What's Bitcoin doing by the way? Yeah, you'll practice. Any other questions guys? I'll hang around for another 15 minutes or so. This is where you hide stops there. You know, if it starts getting back above 19.8k, I'll move my stop to this X. What's Dogecoin and 
Litecoin doing? Yeah, Dogecoin didn't do that. Yeah, that's for the importance of having a trade plan, especially in a bear market that said I'd look to buy there. We didn't get it. And it's just dipped. We didn't make any loser on it. Um, Axel was asking, <laughs> if I knew that, I'd be a billionaire. If I could just say 100x coins, I could tell you a couple of coins that I'm bullish on now. Uh, GMX, Kuji, uh, Lunacy as well. Lunacy is still pumping. Um, and Juno, those are three coins that Atom, those are a couple of coins that I'm, I'm really interested in that I've got involved more than just trading. So I have got my money in them, but hey, those are small caps that could go to zero. Um, or they could like 100 or 1000 X. So GMX is one that I am still in. Um, I've shared that again, I don't hide anything. I always talk about these are three coins. Um, I have taken some profits on GMX guys. And at GMX, you could, I think, get up to 30% return on GMX. It's quite a cool platform. So if you believe in exchange tokens, um, if you believe that it's going to be a decentralized exchanges, then look into GMX. But hey, I'm not trying to pump my base. There's only like 20 people watching, so it's not really that big deal. And uh, I don't mind share. You know, in the bull market, I think my live streams were like 100 people watching. Uh, I wouldn't share like my small caps now. But in a bear market, a few people watching. Um, go check it out. This is pretty cool exchange, and um, I've got most of my money in Arbitrum. You can look into Avax as well. Um, you can look at the APYs as well. Good APYs. What's the price of GLP now? Is it on Trading View? It's not on Trading View. MCHZ, yeah, I can have a look. Hmm, CHZ is pumping. Why is CHZ pumping? I was looking to short this one, you know. Where's that US dollar chart? I had a chart. There we go. Maybe I'd look to short this again. So I said breaking out below here, I'd look to short. I'm going to set an alert on this. If it breaks below this, I might look to trade this short. So for now, the trend is up, right? I'm not. The, the reason is, again, going back to buying support, selling resistance. Everyone's like looking to buy now, right? But this isn't a resistance. Here you can buy, yes. Um, if it pulls back, maybe you can look for a bounce at first target. All this good stuff I'm sharing with you. But if you look at PYR, the, the one that I shared on, on a, for a buying uh, setup, again, uh, it's up to you guys if you want to buy it. I'm just sharing with you setups, all this good stuff. But if you look into PYR, um, on a high time frame, this is a support, isn't it? You'd expect it to rally of this level, this zone, or whatever you want to call it. Um, if you look at CHZ, in a bull market, nothing matters. Just buy and pump, and I love a bull market. I'll probably do a lot more live stream, be a bit more active, make YouTube videos again. I've not made a YouTube video in a while. Um, but CHZ, it's coming into this resistance level, and we can see that previously, I'm going to like this two zones... Um, so when it comes into this level, maybe not here, this is still sort of middle of nowhere, but um, if it breaks below, that's why I said maybe we can look for a short setup. But let's say if it comes into here, um, you'd potentially look for a short because it's already bounced. You want to be buying things at support. And PYR, again, it could dump and I lose more money, but it is at support. So my probability for a long working out is better. So in, I prefer... Um, CYR but if you want to trade this uh, my plan would be uh, you can long it I'd have stopped below here but as long as we are holding above 23 I'm bullish below here I would not hold and your targets if you do long it should be these um, sell short squeeze where to look for open interest there is a really good website. I can't remember what it is. I think it's called Legacy Synthesis. Message me on Twitch. I'll get back to you. Or message like Otis or um, Cell100 or Jamers. They they know a lot more about what's going on uh, with Cell. But I think there's a website called Legacy Cell Synthesis, Robin. Uh, that used to work. Any final questions, guys?
next bull market. Um, I'd love for it to be sooner. Uh, I think there is a chance this December we might get a rally. I'm pretty confident that this December we're going to get a rally in crypto. December is usually, I mean, let's do this analysis live, right? There's not many people here, so we can do this live. So let's look at different monthly. And this is, every, you know, everything that I teach, all the strategies, I just go back test it on the charts. Everything is on the charts. If you're willing to do this for a living you have to put the work in but if you go and study you you'll find out um but yeah one thing you can do is i'm gonna so let's look at how much data we've got so december in 2015 was a green month uh in 2017 december was a big green month where are you going my next holiday you mean uh, next holiday i'm going on a mediterranean cruise i'm not that old but yeah i'm going on a cruise December 17, so last three Decembers that we've checked from 2015 were bull months. In 2018, was a really, well, it wasn't a really bad month. It was near almost where we bottomed, around the 4K bottom. So I don't know, maybe give it like a, not a, bull, a bullish month or a bearish month. We've not had a big sell-off, have we, on, on here? Then look at 2019 December, what happened? 2019 December again, it was sort of like a meh month. We didn't really pump, but it was the bottom before we rallied for a bit. And I'm expecting something like this. Um, so I'm expecting like a 50, 70% rally in Bitcoin uh, November, December time. And maybe the interest rate rises is not as bad as people thinking. Maybe even we see interest rates drop. I think my financial, again, I'll talk about that if you guys are interested. Uh, my thoughts on that is I expect... Um, dollar to start topping out in december and then i think the euro and the pound they'll start gaining um that's sort of my thoughts on it Um, but again, we'll have to see what happens. Again, that's people a lot smarter than me that I pay for, like their newsletters, their subscriptions and their mentorships. That's what their verdicts are. So 2020 in December, again, no one needs to tell you how bullish it was. If we look at this one was bearish and I, I'd give you this. So out of, I'm not going to, I'm going to cancel that because that worked out. And then we'll see what happens this December. So uh, since 2015, so there's been 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Since eight years, there's only, only been um, one sort of bearish Bitcoin month, two sort of sideways, and the rest of them have been really bullish. So I would bet for like December to have a rally again. Uh, again, I might be wrong, but that would be sort of my prediction. And then if I am or the smarter people that I follow that I listen to and even just mine, again, I'm not an economist. I'm not a um, business guy. Um, just from reading hundreds of hours, looking at charts. And my thoughts is that the dollar should look to top out later on in the year. And um, US will look to drop their interest rates. And I think Europeans will have to rise. I know what they're having to print money with where they are. And let me know. I don't know if there's any other sort of macro economist guys here that like researching what's happening. If the dollar starts topping out in December, hopefully we get a Bitcoin and stock market rally. If not, um, yeah, this ain't looking very, very good. Yeah, Europeans are, I think I'm like 25% poorer. And again, if I wasn't in crypto, being in USDT has probably saved me money. And uh, also I have, you know, I invest in like... Um, I try and invest quite a bit of money into like the global markets. I've got a lot of money in the US stock market. I don't have much in the UK apart from my house and properties. That's the UK. Um, but yeah, if, uh, I've, I've done this before. So, I mean, the Dixie going up shows you that we're poorer. But if you want to see an exact correlation um, in the last since, since let's see, look, start of the year, since start of the year, uh, Europeans are, you said, what, 20% poorer? I think you might be more. Actually, no, yeah, you're right, yeah, Crypto Life. Yeah, you're 20% poorer. The pound is, I think, pound is even more poorer since, where's January? Since the top, we are about slightly more poorer euro and the euro pound has just been going sideways hasn't it 
So yeah, you are correct on that. And on all this has an effect. There's always going to be like an anomaly. So we saw a cell short squeeze. We saw, you know, lunacy pumping. We've seen atom pump. There's always, we've seen chain link pump back in the year. I mean, back in 2018, I think. Look at all the markets are dipping and chain link just like chatted and pumped. Same with BMs. There's always one or two anomalies that the whales are pumping and moving their money across. But then we try to catch them and it's been quite great for me. We've caught lunacy. We've caught quite a few. So Luna Classic, uh, we are doing a Twitter Spaces um, later on. So check that out. It's going to be about in two hours time on Twitter. And you can join and ask questions. So there's people that are more involved with the community. They'll be joining. I think there's about 900 people uh, coming, joining. So um, you can ask then, listen to it then. Um, if you are interested, I might make a Luna Classic video because it's just, but we'll go watch this video. Three, I know it's three months ago, but go watch this video. Yeah, there we go. This video. What a crazy pump. I've just not made video because, you know, back in the day, it was like, I used to get like five, 10K views and then the views had just dropped. So I was like, hey, why do I waste making videos? So I was just taking a chillax time. But yeah, let me know. I'm happy to make that video for later on. Any final questions, guys? I'll shoot off in the next five minutes. I usually do this for an hour. And um, the main job is for me to do this is try and keep you guys on the right side of the market, especially with Bitcoin. So for me, I'm expecting a chop here. Um, altcoins, we can look to short. I've shared with you a few altcoins we can look to short. For me, I'm expecting a lower high here uh, in Bitcoin. Your X is there, same plan that I shared. And um, if we don't hold here, start breaking down below and look to bid 17.5. These are just trading plans long term, just like blindly buying. I don't think I'd look to buy until we sort of come into here. Um, so sell short squeeze, I need to look into it more. Um, so yeah, I do expect, um, probably Loon C to have another FOMO rally. Um, there's lots going on. There's developers coming into the project and stuff. So I do expect Luna Classic to have another FOMO rally like we had. Uh, Celsius short squeeze. I need to message some of the key guys. I've not spoken to the, the, the people before. I've just been quite busy with my own trading. And um, you can see today, like how busy I'm with my own trading, doing this live stream. And I like to get most of the stuff out of the way. Then during the week, I can do what I want, my own trading and traveling and all this good stuff. But yeah, I do expect Luna Classic to have another pump. Celsius could be higher. I mean, if they can, I think I, sh I saw something about the recovery plans, if they can get those things going on. Um, for me though, yeah, they need to have like some sort of a plan. Otherwise... I think the short sell short squeeze momentum, it, it had to be then. And if you remember, I did some sell share short squeeze uh, Twitter space and I said, look, we need to see a pump in the next few days. Otherwise, the the power that we have is going sort of away. Same with like, Luna Classic. It's got one of the best community that I've seen and it's great to see the rally we saw. Um, I'm, I was pretty confident that we see another rally. If you've been following me, I or the three months ago if you watch my youtube video we bought luna classic then it rallied up like crazy and i said look i think there's going to be another one um i don't know whether it dips into sort of here or comes back to i don't i wouldn't like it to come back to these lows i'd want luna classic to put in like a bottom here and then have a next rally up but with a community that's behind it i do think that yeah there's a potential chance especially with developers coming in and all this good stuff i think luna classic is probably more likely to have another formal rally uh, that is a very good point. Yes, if Binance, I don't think uh, KuCoin and, and Mexi has come out and said they're going to support it. Binance hasn't. So if Binance says, yeah, we're going to support it, then yes, I think um, uh, that would that would be a massive form rally. I think we'll double in price if that happens or I I even more. Ooh. 
we're going to see a very, very big pump. Okay, guys, so I'm just going to do uh, Bitcoin now and then I'll start rounding up. Thank you everyone for joining again. I'll still carry on doing this. Maybe again in a bear market, I'll probably do maybe every other week if it's that quiet. But I will I'll still do this because I've put so much time into like building this channel up. I know it's bear market. It was the same last bear market, 2018, 2019. Uh, it was just very, very dry. Um, it was like really busy during the bull market and then it's just been very dry. So I'll probably do it every other month, but I do like to do one live stream and it helps with my analysis as well. Just for my own head, writing down these plans, I can trade any hope for Litecoin. Yeah, let me have a quick look at Litecoin. I stand back with, stand by with what I said. I do think Litecoin will have another big pump and I'll look to play that. Litecoin halving is less than, is it 2023 isn't it? Litecoin halving. Let me just check the date. I'll bring it up. I'm pretty confident it will at least treble in price. It's less than a year away. So when was the last Litecoin halving? Um, was it four years? It's every four years roughly, isn't it? So 21st halving occurred. So 2019 was the last one. And people that want to make money in trading, type in Litecoin halving on my YouTube channel. It was probably one of the better... Yeah, Robin, I'm just going to post it on there now. Give me two seconds, mate. And then, yeah, so what was the day? Was it August 2019? Was the Litecoin halving? 15th August 2019. So uh, there we go. So August was here. When did it start pumping? It started pumping about 250 days. So in about three, four months, you'd expect Litecoin to start pumping. And... Um, so where would I where would I love Litecoin? If Litecoin comes here, I'm just gonna buy. I don't like Litecoin long term. I used to be part of Litecoin Foundation back in 2017. Did see some events for them in the UK. I was really active. Uh, what I would look for if it comes into here, starts trend changing, that is when I'd look to buy. That would be my number one setup. If it comes into here, maybe I'd look for a buy here. If not buy above there and this level is when i first got into litecoin big time and i've told this story it was one of my big mentors he sold his bitcoin here and bought litecoin and he is an absolute genius he trades yeah he said basically his idea was when newbies go to on coinbase they're not going to buy bitcoin because they can't buy a full bitcoin they would rather buy litecoin where they can show their friends they can have a few more um like coins then you know few coins they don't want to have not point not btc they want to have a full bitcoin so this is a link for celsius i believe okay guys so thank you very much for watching i'll be live again next sunday so i will catch you guys then just to round up i'm expecting bitcoin to chop here i know it's a bit of a standing on the fence but uh, short term i do think we put a lower high in rally up into 22 23k uh, but yeah i'm expecting a chop next level i'd look to buy maybe is around 17.5k if we get there or if we get a trend change here which i'm hoping that we get something like this next week tuesday wednesday we can look to trade that if it comes up into resistance don't look to buy there would look for shorts and um, but yeah i'm expecting a sort of chop around here um and that is long term not a bad thing to happen so that's my thoughts guys thank you very much for watching i'll see some of you guys later on for our twitter spaces if not guys i'll catch you guys next week sunday same time goodbye all